Hi, it's Yupi. Today, I'd like to show you the day we celebrated Japanese Girls Day, Hinamatsuri, on March 3rd for my daughter. I'm sorry, it's super late to upload this video, but in Japan, we celebrate and hope for young girls to have healthy growth and happiness in their lives on this day with some pink colored themed sushi dishes. Also, we normally decorate Hinamatsuri dolls at home. First, let's make these colorful little sushi towers. On this day, I didn't have much time to cook, so I just used the microwavable rice for the baby's sushi, separated it into three parts evenly. For the first part of the rice, I cooked broccoli flour. Mix and mash the broccoli with the rice. It's better not to cook the broccoli too long to maintain the nice green color for the sushi. Next, mix the rice with cooked salmon. For my one-year-old baby, I used unsalted salmon and was very careful to take out the tiny bones in the salmon. Now the different kinds of rice are ready. This time I used a sharp glass to shape the sushi. Place the plastic wrap over the glass and try to fill in the glass nicely. Add the salmon rice at the bottom to fill one third of the glass. Tightly pack the rice to shape the sushi nicely. Try to make the surface flat to create the three beautiful layers. Next, add the white rice and do the same as the salmon layer. You can use a small spoon for this, and make sure to flatten the edges nicely too. At the end, add the green layer. I haven't tried it myself, but it might be a good idea to use edamame instead of broccoli too. Cute 3 layer baby sushi is almost ready. Now it's the fun part. Hold the plastic wrap and put the glass up. Gently take the plastic wrap out of the sushi. Add a few edamame pieces on top as a garnish. That's it for the baby sushi part. Next, I tried making a flower shaped egg for the first time. First, hard boil an egg. It's for one year old baby, so I boiled it for 10 minutes. When it's still warm but not hot, peel the egg shell gently with a wet paper towel. Place a sheet of plastic wrap on the table. On the left side, place 5 skewer sticks or toothpicks as shown. I recommend using spit bamboo skewers since they are longer than the toothpicks and are easy tools to make the flower shapes with. Place the boiled egg on the right side and roll the egg towards the skewers with the plastic wrap. Roll the egg over the skewers and try to keep an even distance between them. Do it slowly and you get it. Yukuri yukuri, dekirunda! Hold the egg and the skewers together tightly with the rubber bands. This was my first time, so I'll go ahead and say the result wasn't that great. But I practiced it more after this and got better, so I'll post that version of it in short soon. Wait around 30 minutes and when it's completely cool, remove the egg and let's slice it. But I broke the right side. Jiang! Not the best, but I think they're still cute. Now it's time to decorate the baby sushi plate. Garnish with the remaining broccoli as the flower leaves. As a dessert, I prepared her favorite fruit, strawberries, with some yogurt on top for a nice color presentation. Now time to eat and celebrate her girl's day. Hope she likes the baby sushi plate. I decorated the plate with my handmade Japanese paper coat flowers too.
first she was wondering what everything is, and after a while she realized that they are her favorite rice foods. But I realized that they're too difficult for her to eat, so I broke them down into bite-sized pieces. Also, I gave her plenty of water to avoid any chance of her choking. Maybe three sushi towers are too much for one year old baby, so in the end, I only gave her two. Of course, the craftsmanship that went into the egg was lost in her, but she happily ate it. She's been practicing using a spoon, but it might be a long way to go. But it seems like she enjoyed the Gals Day plate a lot. You ate a lot today, boo. Good job. She loves seaweed so much, so I made the little rice bowl-ish things, and she demolished all the rice. Watching her eat is just so interesting and makes me so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu. I'll be posting more recipe videos and hopefully I can cook with my baby sometime. I have my baby's Instagram and handmade Japanese crafts Instagram account. So if you're interested, please follow them and support me. She ate everything! Well done! It was so much fun celebrating the Girls' Day Hinamatsuri for her and I enjoyed cooking it too! See you! Mata ne!